Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's my cousin Stephanie. We decided to do her makeup, kind of a bold, sexy look. So as you see right here, I'm starting off with moisturizing her face. I'm using the Olay Complete Moisturizing Lotion. It's for combination oily, or combination dry, my bad. And then I go on and I have her rub it in towards the end of, this, of the clip. And then I add the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer all over her face to smooth it out. Now I'm just applying the Urban Decay Pri Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I'm gonna blend it out and then I'm gonna set it with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Transparent Powder. Here I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm using Warm Taupe as a transition color. Here I'm going in with the Tartlet and Bloom Palette and I'm using Rebel in the crease just to like deepen up some things and make it a little bit darker. I'm using the same palette I was before and I'm going in with Leader and I'm putting this on her lid. I kind of try to make it go up all the way to the crease, a little bit above the crease and then I kind of dragged it out for a wing look and then I went back in with a blending brush and blended more of Leader into her crease so it'll blend up into the other colors. Here I'm doing a little bit of color correction with the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette. I'm using the peach shade under her eyes and then just a little bit of the green shade just for a little bit of redness that she had a little bit around her cheeks and under her nose. I'm just blending out the color correcting um, concealers just a little bit more before I apply her foundation. So we're moving on to foundation. As you can see, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Um, I'm not sure what color it is. I think this is golden beige. Next, we're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in light. I'm just using this to um, give her a little bit of highlight in her face. We're going to highlight under her eyes, down, down the bridge of her nose, in the middle of her forehead. Uh, and I used underneath her nose to cover up her the green that was still peeking out from the color correcting. And I also put it on her chin. My camera stopped recording, so in this next clip, you just see that I am baking her face. I set her under eyes so they wouldn't crease. I set the, um, by her smile lines when she smiles, I set her chin, and I set some on her forehead and down the bridge of her nose. Here I'm just setting her face with the Rimmel London Transparent Powder. I'm dusting off the extra loose powder that I did under her eyes and then I'm going to go into the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm going to get Rebel and I'm going to smudge that on her lower lash line and then I'm going to go in with Leader and smudge it even closer to her lower lash line just to make it smoky. I'm using the Smashbox uh, Mini Contour Palette. I don't know if that's what it's called, but I'm using the last brown. I do just all of the contouring by her temples, um, right, up, right under her cheekbones, under her neck, 
Um, I do her nose, just all of that. I'm adding blush and it's the Maybelline Fit Me blush in deep rose. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero highlight kit and I'm using Kitty Cat and Daydream on her. I decided to do her brows last because she told me that towards the end of her makeup her eyebrows look a little bit powdery and white so I'm just setting them in place with the Bravo um, conditioner and then here I'm just kind of filling them in and darkening them up a little bit with the precise, precisely my brow pencil by Benefit in number six. I went ahead and let her curl her own eyelashes because I'm not comfortable doing that yet and also um, I put on I start putting on her mascara and I use the uh, Mary Kay mascara and I love black but I end up letting her do her own um, I do one coat and then she goes back and does two other coats and also I started putting on her eyeliner in her um, her tight line on her top lashes and I ended up letting her do it herself because I just felt more comfortable that way I didn't want to poke her eye out I'm using the Maybelline skinny gel pencil and refined charcoal and as you can see she ended up doing it her she did not like it <laughs> when I was doing it, she did a lot better whenever she did it herself. Now we're moving on to lipstick and lip liner. The lip liner I'm using is a pencil lip liner by Rimmel London. And this one is in Spice. And then I use the NYX Lingerie um, Liquid Lipstick in Beauty Mark. Towards the end of the makeup, I asked her if she wanted me to um, intensify anything, so we ended up intensifying her contour. Um, I'm using the same colors. I just went around all over her face, intensified her contour. We also intensified her blush because it looked like her blush disappeared um, probably after we did the highlight. Here I'm just cleaning up her contour, and then I go and dust it off, and then I spray her face with the Urban Decay setting All Nighter Setting Spray. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed watching the video. Um, please comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.